Well, the most powerful animals on the planet. Elephants, rhinoceroses, hippos. They, they don't eat meat, but yet they're like 4,000 pounds of muscle. Where does that muscle come from? And all they eat is green stuff. Hello, beautiful viewers, and welcome to Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. Today, in the first of a two-part series, we meet filmmaker, painter, and one of the inspirational leaders of the raw food movement in the USA, Marcus Rothkranz. Marcus is the author of the ebook Heal Yourself 101, and recently released a DVD documentary entitled Free Food and Medicine about how wild plants provide excellent nutrition and can heal us. My name is Marcus Rothkrantz. I'm almost 50 years old and I look 20 years younger than I did 20 years ago. For many, Marcus is an outstanding role model who well represents the health and exceptional fitness of raw vegans. However, few people know that he was unwell as a child. Actually, I almost died four times in my life. When I was four years old, I almost died because I was born with a weak immune system. And I, This is in Germany, and my parents fed me uh, milk, sugar, bread. They thought it was good stuff back then in the 60s, and I was getting sicker and sicker. Marcus never smoked, drank alcohol, or used drugs, and tried everything possible, including changing his diet to improve his physical condition. I was allergic to animals, I had allergies like crazy, um, and it took me 30 years to figure out what was wrong. I just got worse and worse. I went vegetarian, I still got sick. I went vegan, I got a little better, but I still got sick. There was still something missing. Uh, and by the time I was 27, I almost died. My heart started giving out, my liver was clogged, my kidneys were shot. Um, it was bad. It was during this period that he decided to let go of everything and had an extraordinary experience that was the turning point of his life. And um, all my material things, I gave them all away, had nothing left, went out to the desert, took my clothes off and literally had my 40 days in the desert. And I woke up on a rock and first thing I saw was an eagle flying overhead and I saw the animals, the turtles, the coyotes, the rabbits, and that was my life. I was one with them. and. It was a new way of looking at life and all the answers came to me. After this event, Marcus realized that nature itself provides all the nutrients that a living being needs to survive. And I came back and really I didn't eat, I didn't drink, it was like I didn't need to. And somehow the sun was giving me energy. Basically, for eating, I know that natural fruits and vegetables are health. I just started with the basics and worked my way up and the moment I started playing with anything that was made by man, that was cooked or, uh, or may put into a package or a, a box or a jar or a bag, I started to feel bad. Marcus says that raw fruits and vegetables provide the greatest protection against cancer of any foods. And nature is perfectly designed. We can't improve upon what God's already created. Nature's already perfect. And the moment we try to change it, if you cook food, you kill the enzymes. Anything above 115 degrees, you're killing it. And then you start slowly killing your body. Enzymes are the force of life. It's what we need in our bodies. Eating animal products and drinking alcohol can kill us. Marcus next discusses the example of his father. He was very aggressive. And he was brought up eating meat and drinking alcohol and um, you know, living the typical life. And he got aggressive prostate cancer. They said he had just a very short amount of time to live. And he had to make a radical decision to change his life. That meant changing his lifestyle, his diet, and everything. And he did, which is amazing, because most people don't want to do that. And within 30 days, his PSA went down to zero. Wow. Five years went by, nothing. Marcus advocates that everyone avoid processed foods as he says they do damage to the body. But there's something really important that people need to realize. What I'm talking about is not 
what most people think vegan or vegetarian is. V I still got sick when I was vegan. Why? Because most vegans think just because they're not eating animals that they're healthy. But they eat bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, cookies, cakes, pies, milk, processed food. And the minute you change something from the way it is in nature, you're killing yourself by doing that. And that's why almost everybody that goes raw, they're, all their health problems go away. Wild plants are viewed as the secret to optimal health by Marcus Rothkranz. He now explains why. Wild plants don't know they're going to get water. They're survivors. They don't even know if there's anything in the ground. So what they do is the wild plants, they grow roots very, very deep in the ground up to several hundred feet. People don't even know this. Red clover, which is only this high above the ground, has, has roots that go 124 feet underground. Why is something that a plant that's only this big has roots that go 124 feet? Because they suck up all the saponins, sterols, alkaloids, glycoside, everything from the ground, the vitamins, the minerals, and those are the richest plants on the planet. It's the wild stuff. It's not the stuff that's growing on a farm that we pay all this money for. And when you start eating this wild stuff, you start feeling like a survivor yourself. And you start getting all this energy, and it's amazing how your health conditions start going away. And that's the secret, is getting back to nature. Marcus recommends consuming fresh, raw vegan foods in a liquid state. And I realized after a while that solid food is a very low energy, even natural food. If it's heavy, if it's solid, it's a lower vibration. And then liquid food is a higher vibration. You clean out your mind, your body, and your spirit. And the more clean you are, the less you need to keep going. And the higher your vibration gets, and the more spiritual you get. If you have serious health problems, I always say do nothing but water for a while, and then do juicing. Just juicing, because 70% of our body's energy goes into digesting food. Okay. And if we eat solid food, most of the energy that we would need to heal actually goes into digesting food. That's why we feel tired after we eat. Okay. A, because we don't chew our food enough. B, because it's probably not the right food. And C, because it has to break all this hard food down. So if you're sick, the first thing you do is stop eating. Just do liquids. And the, the fresh vegetable juices go right into your bloodstream. With a long history in the entertainment and motion picture industry, including directing a television movie in 1996, Marcus is using the power of media to inform, inspire, and enlighten people through his World Health Project. The World Health Project is a big giant uh, program that I've created to motivate people and inspire them to change their lives for the better become self-reliant, not depend on doctors for their health, to actually learn what it's like to be counting on yourself for your own health. Because the world can't heal unless we heal ourselves first. What really motivates people more than anything, and this is just getting honest, is what we see in the mirror. And we want to be loved, we want to be appreciated, and when you hit middle age you start worrying about hair loss and wrinkles and, and, and weight gain and cellulite and all those vanity issues. So I said, okay, well, the way you get rid of those is the same way if you actually cared about health. The foundation for a healthy life is a nourishing plant-based diet. However, there's more to healthy living than just choosing the right foods to eat. body, mind, and spirit. It's body, mind, and spirit. You have to have the whole thing in balance. And that's what I'm trying to tell people. It's like, you can get into the raw veganism to jumpstart, to feel like, to really realize what it's like to be in a body that's healthy. And when they feel better, they want to do more better things. And then they start caring about the environment and the world and helping others. That's really where it starts, is with yourself. Now let's hear from some people who are raw vegans and support Marcus Rothkrans' promotion of the raw food lifestyle. It makes you feel better. It's living food. It changes your life. And it's amazing. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus is definitely an inspiration. Um, he definitely impacted my life in a positive way, and we're just grateful to be behind him in any way we can. I had type 2 diabetes, and five years ago, 
it went away completely. My sister had diabetes and she got both her legs amputated. I could have went that route myself if I wanted to, but I chose the vegan way of eating, which is more healthy. You can hear what Marcus just said, and uh, it's, it's true. It works. It definitely works. Our thanks, Mr. Marcus Rothkranz, for sharing your knowledge and insights on the benefits of healthy, compassionate, raw vegan food. Indeed, as is recorded in the book of Genesis, God created every plant yielding seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit for our nourishment. So the stuff that's the most abundant and free is what we need the most and it doesn't cost anything. That's why I call this free food medicine. care if you're in Tokyo or Singapore or Africa or Iceland or Europe or anywhere there's weeds growing wild and free and they're for you and they're more powerful than anything you can buy in the grocery store in the free food and medicine documentary Marcus guides the viewer through various climates and terrains to show them that living food is available anywhere in the world even in areas with harsh environmental conditions People think, well, nothing lives in the desert. That's not true. You could, it's amazing, because I live in the desert. Chaparral, for example, which is the big common bush, but everybody looks at it like tumbleweed. Chaparral, or creosote bush, is a shrub native to the deserts of the southwestern region of the United States and other areas. The indigenous peoples of the region have used it for centuries to treat various illnesses, including cancer. Antioxidants prevent cell and tissue damage caused by free radicals in our environment. The primary biochemical responsible for the antioxidant properties of chaparral is called nordihydrogyuretic acid or NDGA. Chaparral is one of the strongest anti-cancer drug uh, medicines there is because it uh, has an ant a mitosis inhibitor. What that does is it stops the, the, any cell from dividing. So cancer can't grow, it can't spread. And nothing grows around a chaparral bush because nothing can duplicate cells and multiply. Marcus next discusses another desert wonder, the yucca that grows in the Americas. He says this plant has remarkable properties that can rejuvenate the body. Like a yucca tree uh, in the desert, yes. uh, Joshua tree, it's a really strong source of resveratrol. Anybody who watches Oprah knows that you know, her big thing with Dr. Oz is resveratrol because it keeps you young. It's like the anti-aging drug, right? Resveratrol is an antioxidant that is also found in red grapes, peanuts, and blueberries. It has been shown to inhibit inflammation on a cellular level. The yucca, it's a powder. You just take it to the center of the plant when it falls down and it starts rotting. You take the powder and you just put it in water and drink it. And as a matter of fact, it also has this substance in it which is really good for your hair. It's what the Indians, the Apaches used to use yucca powder for their hair. It's made their hair grow like crazy. Amazing. Marcus Rothkrantz says that many wild weeds, herbs, and other plants that can be found in one's backyard and neighborhood are simply ignored because people do not understand their value. They come in wherever there's distressed soil. The first thing they do is they start spreading roots out everywhere. The top layer of roots starts breaking up the top soil and then they drop this really long deep taproot which goes literally hundreds of feet down into the ground and starts sucking up all that nutrition from deep, deep, deep in the ground which fills the plant with saponins, sterols, alkaloids, glycosides, resins, minerals, trace minerals, and vitamins and brings it all up to the top and starts spreading it out into the top soil that is breaking up which starts regenerating the topsoil and the plant itself is super rich in all these minerals if you eat this plant you're going to be getting a thousand times the nutrition of what you would get from an organic plant grown on a farm these wild plants are literally the super food of the planet and they're free they don't cost anything matter of fact they don't even need you you need them throughout history dandelions have been used by many cultures for their medicinal properties Arabian physicians in the 10th and 11th centuries used them to treat patients. 
and there are historical records showing that they were incorporated into Welsh medicines in the 13th century. I mean, dandelions, which grow all over the world. The yellow flower is one of the richest sources of lecithin in the world. They are a superfood and a natural medicine. Aside from being a complete food with all eight essential amino acids that make protein, dandelions are a strong blood cleanser, liver cleanser, they dissolve kidney stones, they help acne, cholesterol, they prevent cancer, they reduce gastrointestinal problems, and even diabetes. And burdock, that's that plant that has those little round Velcro balls that sticks to your clothes and your hair. Little did we know that that's one of the world's top ten healing herbs. It's a very popular anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-tumor. It cleans the blood so well it makes it one of the world's great skin cleansers. It removes acids from the blood, which makes it great for eczema and psoriasis. It balances hormones, arthritic and gland problems. Did you know that the thistle is the national flower of Scotland? These plants grow mainly in Asia and Europe. All thistles are edible. Milk thistle is that tall herb with the spiky, sharp leaves and contains that white, milky-like liquid that, by the way, if you put that on moles, warts, or skin cancer, it helps dissolve it away. Milk thistle is one of the best things you can take for liver. It helps cure hepatitis as well as cirrhosis of the liver. The seeds contain a substance called salimarin, which coats and guards the liver cells by preventing toxic materials from entering the cells and helps rebuild and regrow new liver cells. Mallow is found most abundantly in tropical areas. There are over 1,000 species of mallow in the world. And mallow, that common plant that grows everywhere in everybody's yard, is good for bronchitis, asthma, emphysema, getting rid of mucus. It helps the whole respiratory system, especially when you're suffering from colds. It also helps digestive problems like stomach ulcers and urinary tract swellings and inflammations. And plantain, it's one of the best things you can take for hay fever, allergies, asthma, even tuberculosis. It helps get rid of insect stings, which I got all the time, fevers, infections, skin disease, poison remedy, blood purifiers, good for colitis, stomach aches, diarrhea and my dad's prostate. If only we knew back then that this stuff that grew wild and free in our yard could have helped heal us of what we had. Oh, man, the world needs to know about this. And this stuff is right outside your door right now, and it's free. How do we tell what wild plants are safe to eat? Marcus has some advice. The basic rule is to start with the plants you know and then expand your knowledge base from there. All dandelions, thistles and grasses are edible. That's a great start. Mallow and plantain are everywhere worldwide and they are two of the best things you can consume. One question that people often ask Marcus is how to prepare wild plants and herbs before consuming them. Any living thing, when you pluck it, it starts to die, it oxidizes, it gets returned to the earth. It's a natural process of returning some of the earth that so can be recycled. If you wait too long, there's nothing left in it. I mean, it's like you need the life force, the energy that goes into you. That's why the Indians always thank something when exactly. they ate it. For most plants, you just take the thing, you put it in your mouth, and you eat it. It's really not that difficult, especially the flowers and leaves. Now, I know many plants are very bitter, and you probably don't want to eat them straight. The best way I recommend is simply to put everything in a blender with something sweet like coconut, water, fruit, figs, or dates, and anything else you have like celery and cucumber. You can put them in your salads, you can make tea with them, or dry them and powder them for long-term storage. Marcus Rothkranz deeply believes that a healthy life depends on a balance of mind, body, and spirit. He feels if we make a fundamental constructive change within, we can then influence those around us and eventually the entire world. What I'm saying is they're energetically picking up your energy and they want to be like that, so they start changing. And it starts with you. And that's really what's going to save the planet. And that's not a selfish thing. That's ultimately to save everything. But you can't help others if you can't help yourself first. Through the raw vegan diet and using wild plants to benefit our health, we can be fully alive and produce a vibration that banishes all negativity and illness. That's the only way you can really prove to people that it's real is to live the part. And that it really works is to show it, to be it, to live it. And if you start doing it, I promise you, you are going to shine and the people around you are going to go, wow, 
what happened to you? What are you doing? I want to be like that. And then you'll be touching them and changing their lives. And that's what's going to heal the world. Be veg, go green, save the planet. Marcus Rothkranz, thank you for speaking with us about the power of raw vegan foods and the revitalizing energy contained within fresh fruits and vegetables. We also appreciate your introducing the concept of how the nature that surrounds us can serve as a simple way to heal and keep healthy. May you continue to reach many people with your lively message that firmly demonstrates that plant-based foods are best. For more details on Marcus Rothkranz, please visit www.gorawnow.com. The ebook Heal Yourself 101 and Free Food and Medicine DVD set are available at the same website.